Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll discuss the concept of fundamental cut set matrix. Fundamental cut set or F cut set is the minimum number of branches that are removed from a graph in such a way that original graph will become two isolated subgraph. The F cut set contains only one twig and one or more link. This is very important condition while solving the problems. We should always remember that the F set contains only one twig and one or more links. Branches of a tree are called twigs. Number of cut sets is always equal to number of twigs. Fundamental cut set matrix is represented with the letter Q. And this matrix will give us the relationship between branch voltages and twig voltages. Order of fundamental cut set matrix will be T cross B or N minus 1 cross B. Where T is the number of twigs which is equal to N minus 1. Where N is the number of nodes and B is the number of branches. The elements of the cut set matrix will be having only one of these values plus 1, minus 1 and 0. The value of element will be plus 1 for the twig of the selected F cut set. And if the direction of link current of selected F cut set is same as that of F cut set twig current, then the value of element will be plus 1. If the direction of link current of selected F cut set is in the opposite direction that of F cut set twig current, then it will be given minus 1. The value of elements will be 0 for the remaining twigs and links which are not part of the selected F cut set. These are the three conditions need to be followed while solving a problem. Procedure to be followed here are select a tree of any given directed graph and represent link with dotted lines. Then by removing one twig and necessary links at a time, we will get one F cut set. Fill the values of the elements corresponding to this F cut set row in a row of fundamental cut set matrix. And you need to repeat all the steps for all the twigs. The number of fundamental cut set matrix of a directed graph will be always equal to the number of trees of that directed graph because every tree will be having one fundamental cut set matrix. KCL is applicable to a cut set of a network. KCL equation can be written as Q I B equal to 0. This can be written in matrix form where Q is the cut set matrix. I B is nothing but column matrix of branch currents. And we can write this is KVL equation. We can write V B equal to Q transpose V T where V B is the branch voltage matrix which is a column matrix and V T is the twig voltage matrix which is also a column matrix and Q is nothing but by applying transpose of the cut set matrix obtained here you can write Q transpose. Let us see an example now. Obtain fundamental cut set matrix Q for the network graph shown in figure and also write related KCL and KVL equations. This is the network graph shown in figure. Let us start writing first number of nodes. Number of nodes small n. I want to indicate nodes with small n equal to count the nodes. Here you can see nodes are nothing but common points where two or more elements are connected. Node 1 and this is node 2, node 3 and node 4. So, number of nodes are 4, which are nothing but I am just naming the nodes 1, 2, 3, 4. Next, number of branches, small b. Number of branches given in the network graph or you can see the solid lines as branches. These are the, which branches connect the node, node points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You can write here. 6. What are they? A, B, C, D, E, F for the branches. Number of twigs indicated with small t which is equal to n minus 1 where n is the number of nodes 4 minus 1 that equal to 3. Next. Number of links. Number of links is given by small l 
b minus n plus 1. b is 6 minus 4 plus 1 that equal to 3. Order of cut set matrix. Cut set matrix is indicated with the letter Q. We have seen that in PPT and order is given by T cross B or N minus 1 into B where T equal to N minus 1. For the given network graph T equal to 3 here we got it and B equal to 6 from here. Okay. Next number of cut sets we can write. Number of F cut sets or cut sets equal to number of twigs that equal to number of twigs or 3 we can write three. so number of fundamental cut sets possible for this network graph or equal to 3 after writing the information related to nodes branches available from the network graph and we just draw a tree tree is a subgraph which consists of all nodes but no closed path branches of a tree are called as twigs so in order to draw a tree let me identify the node points one two three four so tree is a sub connected graph which consists of all nodes but no closed paths you can select any possible tree each possible tree will have one cut set matrix. So now I am going to select this as a tree. D, this is F. And you indicate links as dotted lines. I mean remaining branches are called as links. Branches of a tree are called twigs. A, B, C. This is the tree. I have selected to write cut set matrix. Let me draw the same tree here so that I will write cut set matrix. nodes 1, 2, 3, 4. I have redrawn the tree which I have drawn in earlier slide. Let us form cut sets now. Cut set always contains one twig and one or more links. This is very important condition you should remember while forming a cut set. F cut set contains only one twig and one or more links. Let us form cut sets here. While forming cut sets, you always start with node points. Look, look at node 1. At node 1, you can see node 1 has one twig solid line is called a twig dotted line is called a link let me write here solid line is called as twig and dotted line is called a link okay Branches of a tree are called twigs. Okay, So node 1 is connected to one twig and two links. And according to this condition, F set contains only one twig and one or more links. So we can just cut here. This condition is getting satisfied at node 1. So this can, if you remove the 
branches D, B and A, this whole graph will become two isolated subgraphs. So, cut set is for possible at node 1. Now, let us see the direction of cut set. And another condition is direction of cut set is always in the direction of twig current. Direction of cut set is always in the direction of twig current. You can see here direction of twig current is in this direction, right? So, the direction of cut set will be in this direction, in the direction of twig current. In the same way, it is moving this side. So, the direction will be here and even here the direction is here. Let us call this as cut set as C1. So, we are done with C1 and next. What is the next possible cut set? Let us look at node 2. At node 2 is connected to one twig. Here you can see node 2 is connected to one twig and two links. So, there is a possibility of cut set here. So, cut set will be possible here. If I cut these three branches, in general these are called branches. But in specific we call E branch as a twig and B and C branches are called as links. Okay. So, if you cut these three branches, we can have cut set. So, cut set will contain only one twig and one or more links. The direction of cut set is always in the direction of twig current. So, direction of twig current is in this direction. So, it will be in this direction. So, direction of in this direction. So, we call this cut set as C2. Next, look at, at node 3 now. Node 3 is connected to one twig and two links and even here cut set is possible. And direction of cut set is always in the direction of twig current. Here direction of twig current is in this direction. So here in this direction and in this direction. Okay. So I am naming this cut set as C3. Next look at node 4. Node 4 uh, is connected to three twigs. 1, 2, 3. D, E, F. So here cut set is not possible. According to the condition which was said earlier, number of cut sets is equal to number of twigs. So, number of cut sets possible is 3. So, possible cut sets are C1, C2, C3. With the help of this cut set and direction of cut set, let us write the matrix. The matrix is indicated with the letter Q and order of the matrix is T by B. Where T is the number of twigs, T equal to N minus 1, we got 3 and number of branches equal to 6. So, we will have 3 rows and 6 columns. The rows will be C1, C2, C3 and columns will be branches A, B, C, D, E, F. Let us fill these uh, rows and columns. Let us start with C1. So, C1 the elements of cut set matrix are plus 1 minus 1 or 0. Let us start with identifying the related branches with C1. So, related branches C1 or um, can you say A, B, D or the related branches. For cut set C2, the related branches are C2 here. Whatever are involved, we will just indicate it according to alphabetical order B, C, E. And cut set C3, branches are A, C, F, A, C, F. While writing cut set matrix, you start writing with the attached branches. So, A, B, D, remaining branches will be given 0. Then identify whether they are plus 1 or minus 1. If the direction of this branch current is in the direction of cut set direction, then you put plus 1. Let us start with A. Here direction of this branch current, A. Here direction of, you can see here, direction of this is in the same direction of cut set direction. So, you can have plus 1 for A. Next, direction of 
branch B is in the opposite direction of this cut set. So, you have to put here minus 1. And direction of this twig current is in the same direction of this cut set. So, we will use plus 1. Next, cut set 2, look for the branches which are attached to it. So, we have branches B, C, E. Remaining or not part of cut set, we will put 0. And let us look whether they are plus 1 or minus 1. Coming to B, here the branch in branch B, the current is in, in this direction. It is in the reverse of C2. So, we should put minus 1. And next, C, they, are, they both are in same direction. Here you can see the direction of cut set is in the same direction of this uh, link. So, we will put plus 1. And even here, the direction of current in this branch, E branch, is in the same direction of C2 plus 1. Next, let us look at C3. C3, the related the branches are A, C, F. A, C, F. Remaining branches are not connected this F set. We will put 0. And coming to the directions, uh, let us see here. Cut set C3 direction is in the same direction of A here. The current in branch A. So, we will put plus 1. And coming to this C, these are in opposite direction. So, we will put minus 1 here and F and cut set 3 are in same direction, we will put plus 1. This is how we fill the rows and columns in cut set matrix. The obtained matrix is the final cut set matrix. Next, let us write the related KVL and KCL equations for this cut set matrix. So, KCL equations. QIB equal to 0. Q is the cut set matrix which is obtained just now. The order of this cut set matrix is T by B and IB is the branch current matrix which is a column matrix which is of order B by 1 and this is if you multiply these two matrix the order will be T by 1 and uh, for the network graph shown in figure T is 3, B is 6. Now, let us write the matrices obtained. Q obtained as 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. And this as 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. Whatever is obtained in the previous slide, I have written the same matrix over here. And I am assuming the branch, I am assuming the branch voltages as IA, small IA, IB, IC, ID, IE, IF equal to 0. It is nothing but 3 by 1. 3 rows, 1 column. Okay. Now, if you multiply these two matrices and by equating to the right hand side, we can write the KCL equations. So, let us multiply the left hand side matrices. 1 into IA minus 1 into IB plus 0 into IC plus 1 into ID plus 0 into IE plus 0 into IF equal to 0. If you do so, I can write IA minus IB plus ID equal to 0. 0 into IA minus 1 into IB plus 1 into IC plus 0 into ID plus 1 into IE plus 0 into IF equal to 0. minus IB plus IC plus IE equal to 0. 1 into IA plus 0 into IB minus 1 into IC plus 0 into ID plus 0 into IE plus 1 into IF equal to 0. IA minus IC plus IF equal to 0. These are the equations obtained. KVL equations. VB equal to Q transpose 
VT. The order of VB is B by 1. This is a branch voltage matrix which is a column matrix. After doing transpose of cut set matrix, the order will be B by T. And this is the twig voltage matrix. It is a column matrix given by the order T by 1. For the given example, number of branches are 6, number of twigs are 3. And uh, I am assuming the branch voltages as VA, VB, VC, VD, VE and VF. If you want, you can assume it as V1, V2, V3, V4, V5, V6. Here I am assuming it as A, B, C, D, F. And by doing Q transpose, I can obtain this matrix. So let me write here Q. Q I got as 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. By applying transpose to this matrix, I will get first row will become first column. 1, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, 0. 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 0, 1. And twig voltages as, I am assuming twig voltages as VT1, VT2, VT3. Now by multiplying these two matrices and equating with this left hand side, I can write KVL equations. So VA equal to 1 into VT1 plus 0 into VT2 plus 1 into VT3. VA equal to VT1 plus VT3. VB equal to minus 1 into VT1 minus 1 into VT2 plus 0 into VT3. VB equal to minus VT1 minus VT2 plus 0. VC equal to 0 into VT1 plus 1 into VT2 minus 1 into VT3. So VC equal to VT2 minus VT3. VD equal to 1 into VT1 plus 0 into VT2 plus 0 into VT3. So VD equal to VT1. VE equal to 0 into VT1 plus 1 into VT2 plus 0 into VT3. VE equal to VT2. VF equal to 0 into VT1 plus 0 into VT2 plus 1 into VT3. Vf equal to Vt3. These are the KVL equations. This is how we can obtain cut set matrix and we can obtain KVL and KCL equations from the cut set matrix. That's all for this video. Thank you.